Canada Day is, is a chance not only to commemorate the past, but also to express our feelings about the future. And that was really the approach we took in this. To ask interesting people uh, to move out of the present and move out of the past and to talk about their hopes personally, but also for the country. But I have been very gratified in, in, the, in the people that I've spoken with. Um, if you ask them a serious question, they're very serious about it. Um, they're serious about Canada. They're serious about the future. They've thought about both. And the thing that's, that I found really fascinating is how those who, who, have, who do it best have moved outside of the specific issues of, of the day into really fundamentals. How does this place become better? I mean, it doesn't really become better by changing this person or that person, uh, filling one role, um, winning an election, not winning an election. They talk more fundamentally about, uh, about the nature of things, the tone, the focus, the approach. Because they talk about all of those things, and even when they talk about things specific to their work, virtually every one of them has talked about climate change. Once you get outside of the day-to-day, -day, once you're thinking about the future, whether it's a national future or a global future, it's the thing that comes up. And it has been a part of, I think, everybody's response to this. I think for Canada Day, again, beyond just thinking back and commemorating, think forward and imagine. And, uh, and in the spirit of that, then have a nice day. I mean, have a, have a, have a great day. Happy birthday, Canada.